These dark days call for crimson nights. So when the sun sets, the crimson moon rises. These dark days call for crimson nights. So when the sun sets, the crimson moon rises. What is up, Crimson Knights? Happy Friday night. Welcome, welcome. A lot of times we do Fortnite Fridays. We might have done some Baldur's Gate, but tonight it's going to be a Fallout Friday. Yes, I caught the bug from the Fallout show on Amazon Prime. It's got, got me itching to play a little bit of Fallout. So tonight, for the first time ever... I am going to try out Fallout 76 and we'll be playing it on the PlayStation 5. Very excited to be checking that out tonight. Welcome, welcome to the Crimson Knight. Sabi Sachi in the chat. Leah in the chat. Jeremiah in the chat. Welcome to you. Anybody else who's lurking and anybody over on Twitch as well. Welcome everybody. Leah, I am doing well. I'm happy that it's Friday, and I'm excited to play some Fallout 76. How about you? How are you? And Jeremiah, good to see you, man. How's it going? Welcome. So, Dogpool, how's it going, man? And welcome back, Sabi. I don't know why it keeps doing a double intro. I don't know what's going on. Also, like, my chat's not showing up. My recent event, I don't know. I I, I don't understand what's going on. Again, we, we talked about this last time. My computer's crapping out. We'll, we'll try to shut it down, restart it, all that good stuff. I need to do that when I got a chunk of time. Because it is not a quick process. <laughs> Dogpool said, let's check this stuff out. Crimson, did you finish the show? Um, no, I did not finish the show. We're only like halfway through. We're, we only watched like half the episodes thus far. So I didn't finish the show yet, but I'm enjoying it a lot. Enjoying it a lot. And again, it's just for me really getting the itch to play some Fallout. So I figured, why not try out Fallout 76 since we got it for free? And I've heard that they've, like, made a lot of improvements. Here's the thing. Fallout 76 did not launch well, all right? It had a terrible launch, and I I initially was, like, intrigued about it, and then it had a terrible launch, and I was like, nah, I'm not going to waste my time, you know? I don't need to waste my time in a, in a terrible game. Um, but since then, you know, the <clears throat> No Man's Sky effect, they sort of have been salvaging it and continuing to work on it, improve it, add patches, add free DLC content, give the game away for free. And now I hear people say that it's actually a pretty good game and they enjoy it a lot. So we'll check it out, you know, as uh, Dogpool mentioned at the end of the last stream, it is an MMO, you know, it's a massive multiplayer online game. I'm not necessarily planning to sink a ton of time into it beyond this stream, but I just want to, we'll scratch the itch and we'll check it out. We'll have a nice Fallout Friday. The only Fallout game that I've ever actually played. So in the, in the, in the chat, in the chat, we've got the question, what is the best Fallout game ever? Is it Fallout 2, 3, 4, or New Vegas? Those are typically the highest rated Fallout games um, so I had those be the four options. You could go ahead and vote on that of which you like the most. The only one I've actually played is Fallout 4. I don't think I've ever played any other Fallout game. I've only played Fallout 4, but it's one of the most iconic games I have ever played. Fallout 4. Absolutely loved it. Sunk so much time into it. Played through all the DLCs and everything. Just really enjoyed it. And Fallout 4 is going to be getting a next-gen upgrade later this month. Like next week or something like that. So, might have to check that out too. But I'm not waiting. We're, we're scratching the itch tonight. We're checking out Fallout 76. 
I'm excited about that. I'm glad to hear that Sabi's doing well. And no, Jeremiah, you're not the only one who saw the two intros. I don't know why that keeps happening. I don't know. Sorry, everybody. It's just so good. You got to watch it twice. Leah said, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Glad to hear that, Leah. Glad to hear that you're doing great. By the way, Leah, how is your nephew? I was asking about him and I don't... Oh, actually, no. Never mind. Never mind. You did answer. You did answer. I'm sorry. But how's he doing anyways? How's he doing now? I... You said he was home from the hospital. How's he doing? Fallout 1 and 2 were made by someone else. Then Bethesda made Fallout 3 and 4. And Obsidian made Fallout New Vegas. That's interesting because Fallout New Vegas is often voted as the best of those. And it, it was made by Obsidian. Interesting. I actually didn't realize that. So thank you for that history. Dogpool, have you not played um, Fallout 76? I thought maybe you had played it before. All right, I want to spin for some G Fuel, but because Streamlabs is messing up, I'm guessing we can't. My spinner's gone, see? <laughs> My Streamlabs spinner isn't here. What I'm a drink, boy? Let's drink, uh, I know which one. I know which one. Well, I'll say this. Um, the G Fuel... The G Fuel that I should drink... The G Fuel that I should drink is this one, Nuka-Cola Quantum, which is a tropical citrus berry flavor, but I don't have this flavor, actually. Tropical citrus berry. Tastes like a rocket pop, it says. The thing that I always wonder is like... Like, Nuka-Cola Quantum, is that technically a... reskin of a different flavor? And they don't tell you. They don't tell you if it's a reskin. They really should, because I'd, I'd like to know if this is actually a different flavor. There's a wild stallions. It's this one. Coconut pineapple orange. So this is just Bahama Mama. See, this is a reskin of Bahama Mama. So like, I don't want to get that, you know what I mean? Anyways. Since I don't have that, what we're going to drink is Phase 51, which is a melon sorbet flavor. We're going to 
have this one tonight. It, it kind of fits, you know, it's got, it's got kind of, well, I mean, it's like, it's aliens, but it's got a little bit of like that Fallout type of vibe to it, you know what I mean? Dogpool said, Obsidian wants to make Fallout again, but that's up to Bethesda, and both are owned by Microsoft. So really, it's up to Bill Gates. That's what you're really saying. It's all up to Bill Gates. The original creators of Fallout went on to make a studio called In Exile, who are also owned by Microsoft. <laughs> I will say, this Phase 51 flavor is actually possibly my favorite G Fuel flavor. Definitely one of my favorite flavors, but might be my favorite flavor. Cheers, Crimson Knights. Leah said, actually, Crimson, I just talked to my mom. She said my little nephew's doing better, but he's still weak. It's just going to take some time for him to get over this. What it ended up being is a really bad virus. Okay. Oh, geez, there's a new COVID virus that's going around, and that's what we think that he had. It was really bad. He's still weak, but he's starting to try to get his strength back up. Oh, my gosh. There's a new COVID virus. That's scary. If it affects little little kids and babies, that's... That is freaky. <sighs> Jeremiah said, there's some games I want to play this year. Well, what, dude? What games? Dogpool said, what about Chili Dog? What about it? Dogpool, what about it? Hmm? What about it? Something about Chili Dogs you want to say? Huh? Sabi, you got something about Chili Dogs? What about it? I didn't think so. I didn't think so. I'm not doing it. I know none of y'all got the points anyway. Forced me to drink that. Sports Network says, Welcome, ladies and gentle knights, to another Crimson Moon stream. Please put your hands together for your host of the evening, Crimson How's it going, Sports Network? Welcome to the stream. Leah said, oh, no, 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 Chili Dogs here is gross. Please don't talk about Chili Dogs. I don't want Crimson to get sick online. Please, Time no way. Time to take a sip of G Fuel. Who said that? Who said that? Hmm? Dog pool. No way. Are you serious, Dogpool? I'm not talking to you, Siri, okay? Dogpool just redeemed. Choose which flavor Crimson drinks. Yes, even chili dogs are pickle juice. Ah, oh, you tricked me, dude. You guys are trying to trick me. Sabi just gave him three thousand points. No, 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 no. We're not playing with fake money. We're not playing with fake money. No, 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 no. Sabi, also, you're, you're so late here. What's going on, man? You lagging over there?
I didn't see that Sabi handed him 3,000 points out of nowhere. Gosh. All right, let's play some Fallout. Cannot trust you guys. At least, at least Dogpool came clean in the end, though. At least he came clean before I got up, made Chili Dog, started drinking it. Because he'd have had to feel so bad if that happened. All right, here it is. Fallout 76. I got it installed. Got it for free. On the PlayStation 5, we're going to jump into this one. It's going to disappear and not come back. So that's always fun. <sighs> Dab time. Did somebody say dab time? Sheesh. So I said, Crimson, no, you cannot do this. Can't do what? What do you mean man is scamming us? What are you talking about? All right, here we go. Fallout 76, never played it before. Get up and give me 10 jumping jacks. Really? Someone's gonna make me do 10 jumping jacks when I'm trying to start this game? Emotional damage. Time to take a sip of okay. G Fuel. Okay. Gosh, everybody. It's like, do you even want me to play these games? Jeremiah? All right, let me do 10 jumping jacks to appease you. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No games. Only chili dogs. All right, I did my 10 jumping jacks. Let's put that away. And I got to drink some more G Fuel, so cheers, Jeremiah. Hope you're doing well. Jeremiah said, what did he say? Somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. I need to finish playing Poppy Playtime, he said. One is Spider-Man 1 and 2 and Miles. So you want to play all the Spider-Mans, finish Poppy Playtime. You got quite the backlog. I, I want to finish. Here's, here's my list. I want to finish Baldur's Gate 3. I want to finish Final Fantasy... 7 Remake Intermission and Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. The intermission's just a short... We have, like, half a stream of that left. It's just a short DLC. I want to finish Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. I'd love to finish a ton of Final Fantasy 11. I... Or, sorry, not 11. Final Fantasy 14. I want to go and play the MMO Final Fantasy 14. I'd love to do that this summer. 
There's a couple other games that I'm kind of gonna try to sneak in there, like one stream games, Jurassic World Evolution 2, um, Lost Ember I want to play. Then uh, at the end of the summer, Star Wars Outlaws is gonna come out. I want to play that. Uh, I wanna f I wanna around Halloween time, like October, try to play. Um, Shoot, Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2. I want to play that. And then I know that uh, Dogpool also gifted us Mier Automata, so I don't even know where we'll fit that in, but I would love to play that game at some point as well. So lots of games. Lots of games. Jeremiah said finish Minecraft Legends. All right, so we're going to play just a stream of Fallout 76 tonight. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thanks for following over on Twitch. Thanks for liking the video on YouTube, subscribing, joining the channel. I appreciate everybody so much. Let's play. Let's play. Get the Vault 33 backpack now, free for a limited time. Game Pass members can get it fr free or subscribe to your favorite Fallout 76 Twitch streamer for a code. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if I... Do I get drops over on Twitch? I don't even know. Do I? How do you even do that? Is there a way to, like, enable that? I don't even know. Viewer rewards drops. Let's see. Enable drops. I have it checked. Now... How would I know if Fallout 76 has drops? It doesn't look like it does. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just work here. Let's play. World found. Please stand by. I'm excited. It's always fun to, like, check out a new game, you know? The Liberator Robot. Bethesda Game Studios. Presents. Fallout 76. Please stand by. Looks like it says E standby. War never changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting is stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, 
but hearts and minds and ultimately America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. Woohoo! I love being trapped in a vault because of a nuclear apocalypse. Sabi says, democracy, freedom, liberty, super earth. Hell divers now diving. This isn't hell divers. I hope you all enjoyed the party last night. Even those who may have overindulged and overslept. Press R to turn your head. I am a female. Get up and get out there. Let's change our sex. Oh, look. All right, let's change our face. Is reclamation day. Face. Face. It may face. Be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault 76. You come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. How many faces are there? But you all share one very important trait. You are this country's best and brightest. Yeah, I am. But more importantly, you'll always be my family. All right, so what, what happens if I do this? Sculpt? What the heck? I don't feel like doing all this. You can get quite dark here. Create yourself in game. See if you can. I don't feel like doing all that, man. That's not even red. It's like, oh, look, his hair's red. No, this isn't red. That's brown. What are you talking about? Deep red there. That's more reddish. Sabi said, see if you can create yourself in game. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. You want me to try to create myself? I just don't know if I could commit to all that, man. Look, alpha male. This is alpha male? Pompadour, drag out, chem friendly, waster, casual kempt. Rebel, nine to five. Professor, that's probably closer to me, huh? All right, let's go professor. All right, and then I have brown eyes, but brown bloodshot. That's probably closer, huh? Blue hazy, that's crazy. Steel eyes. Um, all right, I guess just brown. It's interesting that there's not like black or something, huh? Prominent.
untamed. All right, we'll go overgrown. All right, facial hair. Lone wanderer. All right, we got to we got to get some something much more significant going here. Survivalist, doomsday prepped. I'm actually probably closer to doomsday prepped, aren't I? I don't know, maybe survivalist. All right, we'll go survivalist. You know? Do I have a wide nose, Crimson Knights? What do you think? I think... Maybe I do have a whitish nose. Pug. Whatever, we'll go chiseled four. How about that? <laughs> Let's cancel that. Got wrinkled line, wrinkled lined, serious. Smooth texture. Let's go. Let's go lined. Priest. We'll go. Go like weathered. All right, what do you think? What do you think, Crimson Knights? That's 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 not terrible, right? It's not the spitting image, but it's not terrible. Jeremiah thinks the nose is terrible. I don't really like any of the nose options, TBH. I think my nose is more like this. Could be narrow. I could be narrow. All right, we'll say narrow. You don't like you don't like the eyebrow. Jeremiah says. I mean, we could we could bring the eyebrow back one maybe. So like bushy. Maybe arched fool. You know, people say that I have piercing eyes. 
I don't really know what that means, but... Or alert. Maybe alert would be a good one. Let's go piercing, though. I'm liking... Piercing four. I gotta choose my choose my lips now. Too big. Average lips. Let's go average five. All right. The face needs to be wider. I don't really know how to do that. Extras. Makeup, markings, blemish, damage, grime. I don't have any of that. All right, body. We'll put me over more towards like between muscular and thin. Go slightly muscular. Okay. Yeah, I'm not large. Let's go like right here. I think that's realistic, Crimson Knights. I think that's realistic. All right. Tom Cruise, how's it going? Crimson, age 76, playing Fallout 76. Cool. What's up? Tom Cruise is here. How's it going, Tom? Over on Twitch. Except I'm going to go ahead and guess that maybe we're dealing with a little bit of uh, Sabia Sachi over on Twitch, if I had to really guess. All right, Crimson Moon, level one. Take a photo. Use L and R to adjust the framing. Use that to adjust individual settings. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, there we go. Let's take a snapshot. Getting started up here. All right. Now let's exit. All right, let's just start lo looting everything. Good morning. Let's activate it. Have a great day. I love these games, man. It's like there's confetti all over the floor or something, huh? Ring the alarm clock. Robeco fun. Could use our terminal. By the way, can I can I bring up options? Menu. Look at what our settings are. Like, can you, can we change the quality of anything or what? 
Seems like no, maybe? The sting. All right, I don't see a way to change the quality. All right, what's gonna be on this terminal? Happy Reclamation Day! Terminals can hold holotapes. Press square to eject the holotape or load one. Today's the day, everyone. Reclamation Day. We've been preparing for this moment for 25 years. We're ready. You're ready. America's waiting for us. So let's get out there. The Overseer. You're invited. Countdown to Reclamation Day. Everyone. Who? Everyone. When? 10 p.m. to midnight. We've opened the remaining liquor rations and the official Vault Tech party hats. The Overseer will give a speech at 10 minutes to midnight and will lead the countdown. Have fun, everyone. Play hollow tape. Nuka topper. Get ready to serve. What, what do I do here? Oh, interesting. Start shooting glasses back at me, huh? Okay. Level two, get ready to serve. Is that all this is? going on here what okay I, I didn't even know what was going on Get out of here! Somebody stole my tip! I don't know, I'm trying to play some game here. This is not easy, actually. How do you beat this? Here. 
Why is level three so much more hard? I don't know. It's a game inside of a game. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Obviously, we're going to get out of this as soon as I lose. Oh my gosh, we're at level four? Skill Crimson Knights, did you see that? Now let's do this. Let's see, can I get this cash? They stole the freaking cash from me. I want the cash, give it to me. Ooh, what does that do for me? I don't know. people with uh with beers all right how are we still going all right he shook up that one and that one and that one and that one and that one okay so it's oh god i i oh jeez. i i don't know this one oh god all right kryptonites we need to get out of this what the this bar is not even making sense anymore going okay now we're gonna lose this time i shouldn't have done this <laughs> you guys are like what the heck is this dumb game going at different speeds too. What is happening? It's like not filling anymore. All right, we're gonna lose now.
We beat it! Alright, let's see if I can keep track of this. Alright, so I think it's this one. No! That is so tough, Crimson Knight. Oh my gosh. So many people want beer. Or no, they want Nuka Cola, right? That's. Oh shoot, I wasted. The... No! I. I threw an extra Nuka Cola down the lane and we lost! Alright, do I get anything for that? No? Alright, so that's Fallout 76, Crimson Knights. That's. That's the game. Blast Radius, Rad Poker. 2076, do you guys think we'll live to see that year? Ooh, play guitar. I'm just kind of messing around. It says playing instruments helps you relax, play long enough to gain a bonus effect. Tuned. All right, that's enough then. The pit boy. We need a pit boy. Somebody get me a pit boy. Somebody get me a pit boy. Overseer directive. Proceed to exit. Where's my pit boy? Oh, take a shower. Wow, look at the look at the mechanics on this toilet, Crimson Knights. That's how you know it's gonna be a good game. Reminder, don't put TP on backwards. Which way is the correct way to put the TP on? Need more sugar bombs. So, I'm, I'm confused. Do I have a Pip Boy somewhere? Let's put on a Pip Boy, but where? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Pip Boy console activate. All right, here we go. Put on the Pip Boy. Crimson fails the exam. You get a B minus. That's it. Can you imagine like having to walk around with this kind of thing? Quest started. Reclamation Day. Press circle to open your Pip Boy. Reclamation Day. Leave Vault Seventy Six. Right, I've got 250 HP. No items or weapons or armor or anything. Reclamation Day came and passed months ago, but now it's time for me to leave the vault and rebuild America. Rebuild America. You would love it? You have been tasked with nothing less than the rebuilding of America. Such a huge responsibility. Just know that vault Tech is proud of you. I am proud of you. When you hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. I've got my own mission out there in Appalachia. This is the Overseer signing off. Appalachia. Message repeats in... 24 hours. The wait is over. System Let's go control. rebuild America. A last celebration, a fond farewell from Vault Tech. Don't worry, we'll turn off the lights for you. Where's all the cake, man? I want some cake, dude. Everybody just left, huh? 
I can't get into other people's homes or whatever. It's a gnome. Nobody's gnome. All right, let's go out into the wide world, I guess. Now, here's a question, Crimson Knights. Do you like third person or first person better? Somebody was playing a little beer pong, huh? Metal picnic table. I don't want to sit. Someone was playing beer pong. Love note. Dear Lisa, dearest Lisa, do you know that my heart skips a beat every time you enter? Your sweet voice rings milk and three sugars, please. In my dreams, I long to kiss you. I want. You only know me as the one who makes muffins, delivers drinks, but I'm so much more. I've seen the Congo. I've visited indigenous tribes in the South Pacific. Too boastful? I want to be with you. I want to protect you. I want. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jeremiah says third person, huh? Yeah? I'm, I, I tend to be more of a first person kind of guy. You know? Jukebox. We can't get into anything, so we just gotta... We just gotta leave. That's our only option, Crimson Knights. Run! Celebrate Reclamation Day! Oh, whoa. Crutchley. Hello. Hello! At last! Today is your reclamation day. I bet you're just bursting your bolts to get out there and see the world. I am. I am. <sighs> Do we know anything about the world outside? Nothing at all. The exterior sensors were taken out of commission after that unfortunate business with the nuclear bombs. Yeah, with yeah. so many of your friends having been gone so long, I cannot begin to speculate how they've transformed Appalachia already. Still no word from no, the overseer? we're not likely to get one. It's been months. Besides, she left this place behind to reclaim America. Time Gonna reclaim America. I'm ready to go. Excellent. Adventure and opportunity awaits you, sir. The kiosks have valuable information to help you thrive out there. Good to know. Good to know. Just get cracking. Let's go. Crushly. The Overseer needs you. Join the Loyalty Corps today. Wait, wait. Nuka-Cola machine. Anything in here? No, someone... Someone already drank it all. Come on now. Stay hydrated. Ooh, purified water? Oops. Accidentally drank it. I accidentally drank the purified water, so that was pretty much a waste. Fortunate. Worthy. Eating raw meat? Bad. Eating raw meat? Bad. So, 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 so bad. Maddie, how's it going? She said, top eighth. I'm getting, top of the eighth. I'm getting tired of watching these two community colleges play softball. Only thing I'm here for is Savannah. Well, is Savannah winning or losing? Always this is Cavendish. With and don't forget to use them. Dot Rec, how's it going, man? Sabi said, Crimson, make a Nuka Cola emoji. Building supplies. Items with components can be used for crafting. No creature comes Higginbottom! There, sir. You want it? You build it! 
<laughs> I do say. Ooh, can I have a party hat? Let's equip that, absolutely. Press any of these to open the emotes menu, huh? Oh, okay, I see. Hi, guys! Woohoo! Teamwork! Merry men! Built America! Built me. Join a team, meet strangers, exchange pleasantries, share skill sets, and succeed! Yeah, no, I'm probably gonna go solo and completely ignore everybody. What do you guys think? Is that a good strat? A fond farewell from vault Tech. Alright, so let's just check real quick. It seems like pretty much forcing us to do that, right? Right, right, right. It's over here. Outside survival Crowley. Will be easy with your construction and assembly Ooh, camp. <laughs> so catchy. Find flat ground, drop your camp, use resources and build, and survive in style. All right, that's cool. So you can build a base. I like it. What else we got? Your pit boy, your friend, inventory management, radio receiver, health monitoring, and more. Stay fit, stay focused. Black rim glasses. I'm not going to equip those. Pen, take that. Find your calling, study, learn, work, get a job. I know it will be scary out there, but you possess the skills to not only survive, but thrive. I know that's what I want to do, is get home from work and get a job. Woo! All right, so let's go back, actually, because it seems like... Personnel terminal. All right, let's go back here though because I wanted us to use this terminal over here, I think. So let's go use it. Discover the overseer's mission. Welcome to Robeco Industries. Term link. Clearance. Overseer eyes only. Vault tech report. Confidential, confidential, confidential. Overseer eyes only. Violation VTP 01076. 25 years after the vault doors close, you are to prepare your citizens to leave Vault 76 and begin a process called reclamation. Specifics will be disseminated automatically at that as that time approaches. After Reclamation Day, you're personally ordered to find and secure three nuclear silos codenamed Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. If these sites are still nuclear capable, ensure no one except vault Tech can access or launch nuclear ordnance. To be clear, even if there are other authorities, whether the government, militia, or otherwise, they're... They're what? I can't seem to move up or down. Their claims are be to be ignored. vault Tech alone maintains jurisdiction. Okay. Vault 76 parameters. Confidential, confidential, confidential. Overseer eyes only violation VTP 01076. Congratulations, Overseer. Vault 76 is one of the most important projects that Vault Tech has completed. No expense has been spared on building, staffing, and selecting the inhabitants of your vault. The cream of the crop of America have been chosen, including luminaries from Vault Tech University. The special classes and instruction you've received about managing a vault do not apply to this assignment. Vault 76 is special. Your mission is to see to the livelihood and well-being of all your residents and make sure they're ready to colonize America once the all clear is received. It is to be expected you will face challenges we haven't prepared you for. Adapt, learn, and thrive. America is counting on you. Operation procedures. Day-to-day -day duties. Your job as the overseer is to see the overall health and safety of Vault 76. Avoid loss of life at all costs. The vault residents have been carefully chosen for their unique skills and temperament. Due to the aptitude of the vault residents, you may be presented with unique challenges in maintaining order. As a last resort, each domicile can be locked down and the resident in prison for any duration you deem appropriate. 
Enforced solitary confinement can lead to psychological issues, so factor that in. Although the vault doors cannot be opened from the inside, keep the entry clear of all unauthorized personnel. The security team will stow all weapons and munitions after the amended entry period and will be armed solely with non-lethal devices. If America is to be rebuilt, every life in this vault is special. Preserve them all. Mandatory shutdown. Our studies have shown even after a relatively short duration of living with the amenities of Vault-Tec that test subjects can grow to depend on them. That will not do for Vault-76. After the all-clear message is received, Vault-76 will shut down all functions inside of 24 hours. Air circulation will cease last, and you should warn the Vault residents that staying inside the Vault can be lethal after this period. Everyone must leave the nest. It's imperative that all residents are focused on the important job of rebuilding America. Archive files. Reclamation day has arrived. We counted down to midnight. I haven't seen everyone cheer like that since Vault Baby Number 1 was born. I called lights out a couple hours ago, had to go get security to help a few people to get to their beds. Then the volunteers and I got all the standees set up, just like we practice. Need to make the final recordings and then it'll be time to head out of that door. I wish I could be there to help everyone on their way, but I know they'll make me proud. Survival first. As instructed, we set up the survival packages. I've advised everyone to run fast and far from 76 as soon as the doors open. We have no information about what awaits us. Vault Tech says we're America's best hope. Now we'll find out. Annual review, 2100. Another year down, our mission continues. Top issues. At current count, six residents are under disciplinary lockdown. That's up from four last year. The morale officers managed to quash the worst rumors about Appalachia. Cannibal mutants, burning rain, whatever, but tensions are high. It's generally pretty easy to maintain order. The pedigree of most of the residents is impressive, to say the least. But competence sometimes means arrogance, and arrogance means my authority gets tested more often than it should. Hydroponics has been struggling to keep up with demand. I've been loath to institute mandatory rationing, but in 2101 that may be necessary. 76 is full to bursting with people, more than we anticipated top successes. The award ceremonies are a great way of stroking the most hardened ego since everyone's so damn competitive. The low point was someone losing a tooth in a fight over the best dental hygiene award. The senior staff has been exemplary as always, very dependable and loyal. It's been a struggle to keep our overachievers placated, but another year down and we're still here. The Vault 76 World Cup has proven to be a huge hit. The ball damn near broke the jukebox, but the energy in the atrium was just amazing. Deleted files, no files found. Play hollow tape. Overseer's log, or should I say, direct communication. Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Truth is, I need your help. I've been given a task, and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is. Because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years, it's that we need to rely on each other. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. They blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. Challenge complete. Collect a bobble tape, hollow tape, or magazine. All right. Okay, so we got that. Maddie said, uh, it's been one to one since the first inning. So, a defensive game. All right, and then let's see what this says personnel terminal. Final notice. If anyone is found accessing this terminal is not a member of the personnel department, you will be immediately reported to the security chief. No exceptions. Correspondence. Missing Nuka Cola Cherry. From Jay Daly. Subject, missing Nuka-Cola Cherry. Just because we're leaving doesn't give any of you the right to steal from my stash of Nuka-Cola Cherry. I've been rationing those bottles for over 20 years. If I catch any of you, so help me God, there will be consequences. About my reassignment. From T. Sullivan. About my reassignment. I realize that it may seem trivial in light of present circumstances, but I would greatly appreciate my reassignment being processed before Reclamation Day. I've worked many years to pass all written, verbal, and physical tests to become a sanitation engineer. I have a doctorate of engineering from GSU, and I don't want to end my tenure at our Vault 76 as a soda jerk. Please, let me have the accolades I've earned. Thanks in advance. 
purge all records. Security chief, purge all records. Vault text reclamation procedure is very clear. All records must be purged before our day. To be clear, after reclamation day, there will be no personnel department. There will be no Vault 76. Any of the projects you're in the middle of are done. If you, for some reason, can't find the time to erase your files, I'll send someone over to do it for you. You can bring it up to the overseer if you like. Personnel files A through F. All files deleted. G through O. All files deleted. P to Z. All files deleted. Unsaved work. R. Villanueva. Previous occupation, Senior VP, Gibraltar, Inc., Education, Doctorate of Applied Communications, Cambridge, Accomplishments, White House Communication Director, National Debate Champion, Current Occupation, Barber. <laughs> oh, that's humbling. That's humbling. Pick a job that's special to you. Educators, technicians and mechanics, public safety worker, marketing specialist, building, construction, design workers, pest control professional, healthcare professional. Softball's fun. Though, I like doing slow pitch softball because it's easier. Security terminal. Unlock requires skill zero. Your skill is also zero. Password required. Attempts remaining. Wait, I don't remember how to do this. Likeness is one. Likeness is two. Likeness is zero? Wait, wait, wait. How's that possible? Hmm. Entry denied. Init locked out. Terminal has locked me out. How did I... Okay. I just straight up failed that. Dot Rex said, I paused one of my books just to work on another one? You've got another one going, dude? All right, let's do safe. Likeness, zero. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, how about... about kind we're in password accepted all right vault 76 security Ladies instructions crimson has officially disconnected from the chat i have not i have not i have not clearance vault tech security confidential 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 security eyes only Violation VTP 01076. Vault 76 is one of the most highly valuable and important vaults in our network. As such, these orders must be obeyed at all costs. The future of America is at stake. Upon receiving the activation notice, your team is authorized to use lethal force. Any obstacle or threat that stands between you and getting vault residents safely inside that vault must be dealt with decisively. Only authorized residents are allowed inside. All other personnel should be considered enemy combatants. The overseer has special instruction after the... Activation notice. As soon as the entry procedures are complete, your team must stow all weapons in the specified containers. Further orders will then be dispensed. Trust your overseer. Obey your overseer. Know that each and every member of your team was selected specifically for this assignment because of Vault Tech's faith in you. If you work together, you will succeed. Incident reports. Drunken disorderly. Jill caught M. Thompson singing loudly during the night cycle. He got into the reclamation party stores and borrowed a six-pack. The rules say the theft mandates lockdown, but what's the point? In two days, everyone's out anyhow. Threw Thompson in the holding cell to sleep it off. Assault investigated. Nakamura investigated a complaint filed by our old friend Jake. Jake claimed that E. Jefferson shoved him with intent to commit bodily injury. Nakamura found a witness, and Jake was gently shoved out of the way after he was laying into Jefferson about being an ineffectual ass. Asked the chief whether we could nail Jake for filing a false report. Chief said that Jake technically was assaulted, though, so it's dropped. God, I hate lawyers. 
unauthorized access investigation. Terminal 023B was hacked last night. Sandy investigated. We've got no idea who did it. The reclamation files were accessed, however, which has the chief furious. What does he expect? Half the resties are goddamn geniuses. How are we supposed to keep them out of restricted files? Doubled up the shift so we have more eyes out there. Like, that'll help. Theft investigated. Another claim from Jake. Again, sent Nakamura over. She's the only one that doesn't want to strangle the guy. Jake claims he's missing one box of sugar bombs from his room. He's demanding we investigate it. One box of sugar bombs told Nakamura to drop the investigation. With reclamation coming, we have far more important things to do. Security logs. Final entry. 25 years of service, no KIAs, and one hell of a send-off. I made one last plea to arm the Ressies before we open. Denied. My solemn hope is generations from now, visitors will come to 76 and read this and know how dedicated their forefathers were. How we regrew America from the ashes. But I must admit I'm afraid as well. If some of the experiments in the other vaults go wrong, it can give you nightmares. And that's only the things I know about. If we can only stick together, work together, I think we stand a chance. Keeping a lid on it. I had to lock down Casey for blabbing about the activation notice. The cat's already out of the bag, but orders are orders. Procedure is we announce tomorrow, but you can feel the excitement. The team keeps asking what to expect out there. The nukes knocked out our external sensors, so we're blind. Only the secondary Geiger counters are operational. Scuttlebutt gone wild. Lots of whispering of who's grouping up with who after reclamation. I worry the biggest threat the project isn't any threat we'll face out there. It's from within. The Ressies are a formidable lot, but give them free reign and Lord help us. Rundown complete. Team tore through the activation notice checklist. Logs white, non-essential gear secured, reclamation packages acquired, etc. The whole procedure went down a record time like we've been practicing for years. Some grumbling about unleashing the rest is without the overseer keeping them in check, but overall, a good performance. All right. Safety first. All right, Crimson Knights, let's go. Here we go. We're leaving Fallout Vault 76. Goodbye. This is Alderton. Goodbye. Goodbye. Here we go. Battle ready dweller at level 20. Wait, why would I choose fresh dweller? Fresh Dwellers leave the vault at level 2 with a perk of their choice. They require time training before taking on more difficult challenges, whereas we could just leave as a Battle Rally Dweller, leave the vault level 20 with a special load out of their choice. They're prepared to jump into more difficult content. All right, let's just leave as a Battle Rally Dweller, I guess. I don't know. We could go automatic rifles, two anti melee weapons, pistols, shotguns, vats. Targets enemy limbs with luck based vat system. Just go as a commando. Maddie said, there we go, rip the other community college walk-off home run. That's fine. I can tell Savannah was begging for the game to end. So they had a walk-off homer to end the game? Dot Rex said, I might be addicted to writing. Let's just go as Commando. We're just going to jump to level 20, go as Commando. Tested metal. Ain't he the cutest? Wild West Virginian trophy earned. <laughs> Discover the fate of Appalachia and its people, wayward souls. Hold circle to turn my light on and off. All right, good to know. 
Pennington. Oh, sir. Those young ladies down there, they seem exceedingly alive. Oh, yes, very alive. They haven't yet made any untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? Um... You sound like you think they're up to something. I've been keeping watch here long enough to have learned that outside the vault, people don't always have one's best intentions at heart. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. Any idea what those two are doing Only up here? that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. What's been going on out here? Until quite recently, it's been exceedingly peaceful. I maintained my post, greeted latecomers out of the vault. Yeah, I know. I'm a couple years late, okay? In Appalachia's natural splendor. But very recently, it seems people have come back to Appalachia. Those two and more to boot. The non-vault sort, you understand. It's all very concerning. Who knows what they might be up to? Have you seen the Overseer? Well, yes, but it's been some time. But she was a resourceful woman. I, I'm, I'm sure she's all right. All right, I'll be on my way. Do be careful out there, sir. You too, Pennington. All right, now here's a question. Do I change player icon? Visit the atomic shop, continue playing. All right. Um. All right, so this seems to be quite a large map of West Virginia. West Virginia! Darth Realtor is over here. Okay, so that's cool. There's other people. Now, let's see. Do I have any weapons or anything? Oh, I do. Tactical automatic combat rifle. Short hunting rifle. Actually, hold on. Armor. Okay. Apparel. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, there it is. How do I put it away? All right, hold square to put it away. Responder corpse. Right, I'm just gonna take all that person's stuff. Oh God! What the heck did this thing come from? Cutting fluid. Prepare for the future. Alright, so I said BRB, gotta eat breakfast, so yeah. Can I jump? No? Okay, so there's two people right there. We can go talk to them, I guess. The wayward opening soon, all kinds welcomed. There's got to be a way in there. Maybe... A vault dweller? Hey there! Alright, this says... What does this say? Donations box. Welcome to the wasteland. 
Hey newcomers, welcome to Appalachia. Hell of a place, isn't it? There's a lot of danger and a lot of excitement waiting for you. I got some help when I first stepped into this big, beautiful, irradiated world. I figure you deserve the same. So in that spirit, I built a little box for gift giving. A place for the haves to leave something for the half-nots. If you see something you want, take it. If not, well, you'll survive. Good luck out there. Signed, your friendly neighborhood wastelander. Lacey and Acela. Whoa, whoa. Just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? I don't know. What's your interest in Vault 76? My partner and I need a way into that vault. We got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? New bar down the road. Yeah, so no, I've never heard of it. Us that after you gave him the last of our caps and he said that inside that vault is the you know that's where the big one is i don't know the what you're talking about turn our lousy luck around the big one what are you talking about you know the thing that brought everyone back the treasure I think you may have gotten some bad information. But... I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But... Those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? I don't know. Um, what can you tell me about the area? About Appalachia? Yeah. Other than West Virginia? It's a graveyard. Oh, it's There's a graveyard. That. We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after, well, these things showed up. The Scorched. The scorched. They're basically zombies. Seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. What's the world like out there? We both came over from Virginia. Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. And the few spots that are livable, well, they got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous, really dangerous, but it's better than where we've been. What else can you tell me about this treasure? Happy to tell you what I know, which isn't much. Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Monsters or no? Guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name? He gave us a couple of leads to chase down. In exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something of them. All right, I better be Watch going. Watch yourself out there. Visit the Wayward. Oh, okay. Here's uh. Shot him in the nuts. He's got a dinner fork. U.S. government supply requisition. Interesting. Okay. Request government airdrop. Use the gov U.S. government supply requisition holotape at a radio tower. Okay. I will take, oh look, a revolutionary sword. That's funny. So I could attack somebody with the sword. Bag. 
TV dinner tray, blah, blah, blah. Sons of Dane automated alert signal found. Event, one violent night. And there's like kind of a lot going on already. Nothing in the ammo box. Rat poison in a bobby pin. Matt, he said, the guy behind me was talking to me the whole game. Very sweet guy. He was only talking about softball and his sister in Savannah because it turns out they played against each other this weekend. Like, was he hitting on you? Dirty water. All right. Wood right leg. <laughs> okay. Vault Tech celebrity celebrates 300 years of America. Baseball grenade, nice. All right, so now I've gone like kind of in a full circle here. Wait, wait, wait. That guy gonna like come out of nowhere? A baseball base. Giddy up buttercup back leg. Nope, still just... Still just hanging out under the... Bus, so whatever. Oh, rhododendron. Challenge complete. Harvest wild plants and fungi. He's a fun guy. I have to assume there's a day-night cycle in this game, huh? So I've got a good number of bullets, so that's good. This looks cool. Oh, God! I thought it was a deer at first. I don't know why I thought that. Mongrel dog meat. All right, this says gather log. Collect some wood. Weird, okay. Wood pile, gather. Junker funk. Can I build with this? Lots of wood scraps and whatnot. Boiled water, small glass jar, white bottle. All right. Okay, 38 round. Pipe pistol, nice. Mole rat hide. Specimen jar, straw pillow. Take another pillow. Up, oh, blew his head off. I'm sure duct tape is useful. Small left antler. Another pipe pistol. Wonder glue. Crushed yellow canister. Vegetarian ham. <laughs> uh, what does that even mean? Rad stag meat and hide. 
There's a gnome. Broken garden gnome. Yeah, I'm taking that. Wild melon blossom. Walking cane. Saw. I'm just taking everything right now. I don't know what I'll need for, like, crafting. You know what I mean? Like, how are we in terms of... We're 151 out of 185. All right. Where are we in terms of the map? What is this? Tune in to WGRF Grafton Radio. But where, where are we supposed to be going? We're supposed to be going down this way to the wayward, huh? And what is this? This is a person. Puckaroo 1 with the rainbow flag. So I think we need to just be going this way, right? Gather some more logs. Maddie said no, but he was with his girlfriend, but she didn't want to be there, and we talked softball. Then he wanted to get to know both of us, and I almost broke him to learn Savannah was homeless until late 2022. Yeah, that's a crazy story. Well, let's get the chat a good conversation with a good person. It's a nice time. Is there a way to jump? Oh, it's triangle. Oh, God. Get myself some glowing fungus. You never know when you're going to need some glowing fungus, Crimson Knights. Jonathan, how's it going, man? Oh, gosh. Long time no see, bro. How are you? What's new these days, dude? So, right now we're playing some Fallout 76 because I've been watching the Fallout show on Amazon Prime and it's been giving me the itch to go back and play some Fallout. I've never played Fallout 76, but, you know, had a bad launch, but I've been hearing good things recently with all the DLC and patches and everything. So, we're, you know, we're checking it out. Now, is this... Is this somebody's um, base that they built? Or is this, like, just permanently here as part of the game? I, I don't know. I'm thinking this is just part of the game. It's going well. I'm graduating next month in literally 10 minutes. We gave away our dog. My little sis is crying. I can hear from the second floor. Wait, you gave away your dog? What happened? Is this gonna attack me? Is this frog gonna attack me? Oh shoot. Uh, didn't mean to throw that. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out is there like a weapon wheel or something? Like, how do I... I don't know. Is there is there a weapon wheel? Wild mutt fruit. Let's look again at the map. Where am I? 
I'm heading towards... Oh, I can speak the lane down here next to Puckaroo 1. I wonder if there's, like, PvP in this game. I would imagine there is. So, like, is this person down here gonna, like, try to kill me? I don't know. But, yeah, my mom's pregnant. Well, it's a lot of work taking care of a big husky. So we found her a nice home with owners who have a husky already. Jeez, man. Well, sorry to hear that, that you had to give away the dog. I mean, that's that's pretty crazy. That has to be pretty sad. So, sorry about that, but exciting that you have a new sibling on the way. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. <whistles> Settled forager. You seem like somebody who appreciates resourcefulness. I know, I know, you're thinking, I've seen you before, right? You recognize this mug, don't you? I mean, yeah, I don't know. That's that's got to be tough, Jonathan, because um, like it's sad when a dog or like a pet passes away, but it's like the pet passed away, you know. It's sad that it's gone, but like there's nothing more you can do, you know. But I, I, it's got to be a little bit weird when you're giving away your pet because then it's like, ah, oh, man, the pet's still alive. I'm just not with it, you know. Anyway, I won't even talk about it more because I don't want to make you sad, but uh, that's that's tough. But congratulations that you're graduating next month. That's super exciting. So uh, what's going to be next for you, dude? What's going to be next? Dot Rex said, uh, like mine when we gave away our cats and Jeremiah said it was sad. Why'd you give away your cats, Dot Rex? What happened there? I think Paige, Settler Reputation Cooperative. I think Paige mentioned you. You're an author, right? Intelligence plus six. Oh, you're that author. I saw your book cover. Uh, you're a famous author? I apologize for ignorance, but I would like to know who you are. Oh, my. We got ourselves quite a talker here. Wow. That was very kind. This guy's I voice actor's hilarious. to know who I am, after all. Ever since the war... I've been sort of scrabbling along, thinking of my book, making the best of it. I have enough time to write some more, and that's exactly what I aim to do. This but is like dot wreck in the woods. That, I need a place to stay for a bit. And if you have a place, well, I would be happy to watch it for you. To tell you some stories, I'm a wealth of practical knowledge. You can stay. I don't have a place to stay, I though. I just might. Maybe just for a short while. Enough to catch my breath and rest my bones. Set out a comfy chair for me, will you? I need to pick up some of my things, and I'll be there soon. By the way, you can call me Gramps. Oh, Gramps! Everybody who knows me does. And Gramps is going to come live with me. Okay, Gramps. I'd gladly Dot Rex said you were kidding? Why were no, you kidding about that, man? I just need to rest my eyes for a bit. That's all. I think he'd been drinking. He's been drinking. He's been drinking. I missed your other chat about the dog. Losing the dog and getting a new sibling fair trade. Well, it actually... Oh, they had fleas and we were moving. I gotcha. Well, that's tough too, Dot Wreck. I'm sorry. That is... That's tough. Jonathan said, uh, I overheard my mom sobbing on the phone with the doctors on speaker. Haven't confronted my mom about it yet. I want to confirm it 
myself by going with her to the hospital. The thing is, my unborn sibling might be born with a condition, and you're a little worried. Oh, man. That is tough. Well, thoughts and prayers to you and your family. Hopefully everything's okay, but, you know, even if your sibling is born with a condition, um, you know, that, that can be really tough, I'm sure. But depending on what it is, hopefully it's something that you guys can, you know, navigate together and figure out. Here's a mutated three-headed opossum. Pocket watch. Fire cap. Okay, I was just curious what that was. It was so colorful, it attracted me. Here's Puckaroo. Gilman Lumber Mill discovered. All wood must be chopped. This guy is working on his armor. to steal some caps. It's like he killed the responder who was here. There's a weapons workbench, punch That's card machine, you, no. manager special from here. Huh. To Addy. Adelaide. You know, I actually know an Adelaide. Believe it or not. Dear sister, I hope this letter finds you well. I hope it finds you at all. If not, then it's good therapy, I suppose, though small comfort. I have many regrets about how we parted, but I hope you and your father will forgive me for my arrogance. I believed wholeheartedly that fighting those bandits was the right course of action. I saw you both as cowards, unwilling to stand up for yourselves. A disastrous outlook. I should have joined you on that caravan while I had the chance. Instead, I lost my family and nearly lost my life. I've settled in well with the group here in Appalachia that call themselves the Responders. They're good people and they want to build a peaceful world, like how home used to be. I believe in their mission, and though it will be a long road, I think we'll at least be able to carve out a little Emotional niche of civil damage. A little niche of civilization for ourselves. Because I, regrettably, have some combat experience, they're calling me a constable and asking me to keep the peace. I empathize with the mission, but I'm not a fan of the title. It's not who I am anymore, but I didn't want to protest. They've been so good to me. I hope that one day you and father will return from wherever that caravan has taken you, and I can show you a home that we're building here. You don't have to stay, but maybe it'll convince you that your brother's not such a bastard after all. If that's too much to ask, then I apologize. Wishing the best regardless, Lane. June Seaver. Did you know we've only had six cans of cram in stock for the past week and a half? Yeah, hard stuff to find, Cram. Evidently. Jonathan said, It's crazy how four years ago, when I was at my lowest point freshman year making bad decisions, I tuned in. Four, year la four years later, I'm still tuning in. That is crazy. I can't believe it's been that long, dude. Now you're making me feel old, Jonathan. That's crazy. But yeah, man, thoughts and prayers to you. And again, uh, very exciting about graduating. And if you're still here, man, let me know what's next. Love to know uh, what's, what's up next after graduation.
whatever you're willing able to share i know that question can also be annoying because sometimes people are like i don't know and that's totally fine if you don't know you know it can get annoying for people to ask like so what's next what are you doing you know and you're like i don't know i'm the quartermaster at this little outpost of ours that means i manage what supplies we have i uh count them a lot just to make sure we're still out of gauze and didn't magically manifest more while I wasn't looking. I wanted to be a doctor, but being a doctor is hard when you have a fear of blood and needles and a failure. <laughs> the crimson wife thought she wanted to be a doctor and she too uh, kind of is scared of the sight of blood. So that that route didn't work out too well. They're great. We're great. They more than me. They're selfless and fearless and try to solve any problem, no matter how difficult. And they uh, use a lot of supplies and don't get many, but uh, they manage anyway. <laughs> Let's talk about me. you. <laughs> I'm nothing special. Are you from around here? Oh, no. I'm no Appalachian. I came in from the north with Paige and the other settlers. She's a northerner. Do you know them? But I, I wanted to do more than just settle. I wanted to learn medicine. And the responders seemed like they could teach me. Only, uh, they couldn't. Or I couldn't learn is more like it. What do you do in your free time? <laughs> free time? That's not a real thing, is it? It's not. You seem very, very stressed. Stressed? <laughs> Who's stressed? Me? It's uh, that obvious, huh? Well, I, I do have my mantras to calm me down. Serenity. Serenity, peace, and... Wait, was it six bottled waters or 16 in the next shipment? I can definitely relate to her having too many things in my mind. Don't be self-defeating. You're doing great. <laughs> you really think so? I'm not sure I believe you, but it's a sweet thing to say, nonetheless. Top Rex said, I just told Latrice you weren't streaming and she believed it for like two minutes. You pranksters. Well, that's probably for the best. I need to get going. Okay, then. I'll be here. Probably forever. Jonathan said, yeah, Whoa. unfortunately, my all my bad high school decisions ended up catching up to me, limiting college and scholarships. So I'm going to go to a community college, but I have a goal. I plan on pursuing being an FBI agent. That's awesome, dude. Lumberjack. Lumberjack. Said, all right, well, I'm going to do some essays and work I need to do. I'll stay on here, though. Dude, you're, you're hard at work on a Friday night, huh? Oh, look, this guy took his... Um, Power armor, I guess. Where'd he go? Wait. Where'd the power armor go? There was power armor here a second ago, and now it's gone. Okay. Alright, so we're at the lumber mill. It said, speak to Lane. Where's Lane? All these responders are dead, man. I feel like this guy killed them all. My stash box. Wait. Oh. So can I put a bunch of stuff into this? Store all junk. Boom. All right. So that freed up some stuff for me. How do I switch over to my inventory? Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's uh, store these glasses. Bobblehead of perception. I 
got a lot of pipe pistols. Short laser pistol. Ooh, okay. Uranium ore. Let's store that. Walking cane, let's store that. Let's store these arms and legs and whatnot. Mongrel dog meat. Oak holler lager, okay. Uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? I bet I was misunderstanding this. What was this? Wood right leg? Wood left arm. Is that better or worse? So this says damage resistance four and two. Okay, yeah, I have level 20 gear right now, so that's better. This lane? Lane Platt. Here hello he is. Hello there, stranger. Well, hello Where'd there. Where did you come ambling in from? Oh, uh, I'm from the capital. None of your business. It's a long story. I'm just going to say Vault 76. One of those vault dwellers, are you? I've heard tell of your kind. He seems Solves nice a enough. Lot of problems. And he caused a lot of problems from what I hear. You wouldn't happen to be one of the problem solving kind, would you? I could use one of those right about now. I don't know. I could try to oh, be, dude. Excuse me. Let me introduce myself. Name's Lane Platt. I'm with the responders. We're a band of self titled do gooders around the Seems parts. like all the responders are dead. Growing up fast, and we're trying to keep everyone I don't know if you noticed that. And off each other's throats. A noble goal. I like to think so. It gives me hope that we can one day right all the wrongs in this world. Now, there's a lot going on in this neck of the woods. More than I can tackle myself. You got ferocious beasts roaming the forest. Creepy cult moving into the caves. And all manner of people about ready to go to war with one another. All that is to say, I could use a hand. And I'd be willing to pay you for yours. What do you think? I'm pretty sure in this game, you can actually set off a nuclear bomb. I'm pretty sure you can. I'll help for the right price. I did say that you would be duly compensated. That much is only fair. Uh, here's the job for today. A forest is a dangerous place. Not compared to other regions, mind you, but let's not lose sight of the facts. To make it safer for new settlements, we've been clearing out dangerous critters and using the meat to feed people in need. If you could go retrieve the meat from our traps, I will happily compensate you. Easy. I can do that easy. I'll get started now. I appreciate your help. Stay safe out there. All right, we'll do. Okay. Toggle active. All right, so we're going to go after that. Daily, a better tomorrow. Oh, this is just a daily quest? This isn't even like an actual major quest, huh? Dinner fork. these guys keep coming from
what is this guy? Scavenger. All right, but it doesn't say he's bad. So I guess we can. I hate this misty, foggy crap. Go talk to this I need guy. Some more, more of that nuka shine. Last time. Nuka shine. It hit me harder than a train. I. I know. I know you got something for me to drink. I think you've had enough to drink, sir. Um, let's see. I could be bad, or I could say I'm not giving him anything. Here, have some beer. You can have some beer. Oh, wait. I can't, I must have put it all away? Wait. Alright, I guess I'm not giving you anything? Yeah. You couldn't keep up anyway. Whoa! Why'd you get so close to me? I haven't hit rock bottom yet. Just you wait. I bet you can get there if you try hard enough. My personal terminal. Hello. Automated alerts. This place has a lot of potential. Anomalous seismic activity. This report's not yet been reviewed. Automated posting from Chief Editor. It's important we look into the strange seismic activity. It could be a sign of an underground attack from the commies. Coordinates have been attached. Download coordinates. The rusty pick. Unknown machinery at train stations. The Appalachian Railroad's anti-communist watch systems have detected unusual machinery at several train stations. This report not yet been reviewed. Automated posting from Chief Editor. Any and all potential communist activity must be followed up on immediately. We have to be on the scene before some feds in dark suits shoo us away. Coordinates have been attached. Download coordinates near station. And a suspicious person. Coordinates been attached. Download coordinates for a suspicious person. All right, so I guess these might just be daily quests, huh? Getting so sick and tired of those thorn bushes. My daily planner. No appointments. Oh no, looks like no one's made any appointments with you. Check back here if you meet a friend that wants you to meet them for an appointment. Okay. Anyway, where, where are we going? We're going over here to collect some meats. Alright, I collected the meaties. Now we're going to the next trap to collect some meats. I might have to go get a drink in real life. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I don't think you can pause this game though. I'm a little scared of what happens if I walk away for a second. Collect like fresh meat from the next trap. Fresh meat, spoiled meat, Brahmin hide, raw. Oh my god. It's an actual wolf. What the heck? That's visit the wayward. Investigate the corpse at the isolated cabin. Collect fresh meat from the final trap. All right, so let's let's finish this little side quest that we're on, Crimson Knights. So far, this feels pretty Fallout 4-ish, you know, in terms of classic Fallout. I just can't remember how to use the weapon wheel. That's the only problem. I, I don't know. It's, I can't really say I can't remember. I've never played Fallout 76, but, you know, the controls are pretty much the same. Um, now, is this where I need to investigate this corpse or whatever? Ooh, mistake. Weapons workbench. Discovered isolated cabin. Canned dog food. I'm stealing dog food from a dog. V 
volatile materials box, okay? Old possum. All right, so Ghoul's Note 1. Mr. and Mrs. Braxton, my name's William Keller. I represent a group of brave men and women who you may wish to meet. In the years since our new lives began, many of us have begun to lose those things we once took for granted. Our skin, a face, an old voice. Most painfully, each of us have lived to see our friends and loved ones die around us. It's been 20 years. No one should have to suffer in loneliness and fear. You're not alone. Ghoul's Note 2. If you're interested in meeting a group of your neighbors is gathered to the east, we've been contacted by a larger community like a living in the capital. Like ours living in the capital. Apparently the city was hit hard, but they say society's beginning to grow there. We're considering joining them. WK. William Keller. Oh, here's the body. Reuben safe key checklist shelter building supplies. Distract him. Stash the rest of the supplies. Jump in the other crate. Pray to God I survive. Find anyone from 76. Kill Zax. Well, actually, I guess I'll take it. Need more materials to keep building a shelter. Wood, steel, screws, gears, copper. Shadeless lamp, I could take that. Large left antler, I'll take that. Pre-war money and right leather right leg. Okay. Okay, let's go up the hill. What are you guys thinking of this game so far, Crimson Knights? Let me know in the chat. I don't think any of you guys have played this game before. It's like po post-apocalyptic Starfield or Skyrim. All right, now I gotta return to lane. I can hear like some distant gunshots. Vault utility room entrance. Oh, so I could go in here, huh? Fisherman's hat. All right, I'm gonna take that. Crimson moon. It says level one, but I'm not level one. Dot Rex said, will you finish Starfield? I mean, I basically did finish Starfield. W what do you mean? Well, we, we did finish the game, and we went basically into New Game Plus. So the only thing I haven't really done is I would like to go back and play some of the, like, side quests and stuff like that. You know? But, um... You know, we, we did technically finish the game. The heck? 
Looks like a cat made out of grass or something. What is this? Is this like where I... Like, what is this area? Does this mean that I could make my own little... Like, vault area? Is that what this is? Like, is that essentially... If you go into a shelter like that, is that your... own personal shelter? Vault utility room entrance. Place marker. Gotta wait a whole nother hour for that food to reheat. So can I edit this? It just says my custom destination. Oh, okay. It's just it's just a waypoint. You can't like leave markers on the map. Interesting. All right. But yeah, I do want to go back and play some more uh, Starfield because uh, there's still more like side quest content that we didn't really get into. I mean, you could definitely put a lot more time into Starfield. I think overall what I felt about it is it was like, you know, this is a fun game. Am I going to sink like a ton of time into this game? Nah. Like, I, it's fun, but it's not, it's not a game that I felt like, oh, I want to spend like all my time in it. I enjoyed playing through it. I thought it had an interesting storyline and everything. Um, but the space travel to me was like, space travel in... Starfield is underwhelming, you know? It's basically just fast traveling. So that that kind of takes away from the experience. It's not I, I I won't complain about it as much as other people complain either. Like I'm not saying that it ruined the game or something like that. Um but also, it's just like, you know, if that's what the experience is, it makes me not want to play it as much. As if it was like a true kind of free exploration space. Happy hunt. You're back. Yes. You've recovered the meat from our traps. Just what I wanted to hear. Why is there like an awkward the pause? I can't thank you enough. You helped us make progress toward a more peaceful world. I sure wish I could say that's all the help I needed, but the work never ends. If you're in the neighborhood again sometime, I will always welcome more of your help. Okay, Damn, Lane. Meantime, though, here's your payment. Have a good day now. What are you giving me? 124 bottle caps? Oh no. He didn't even give that much. Okay. So what do we got to do? I guess our next thing we got to do is go visit the Wayward, huh? What's this over here? U.S. government requisition tape. Here's DS. DS's camp. All right, and there's another camp over here. Babcock's camp. That's cool. Tune in to WGRF Grafton Radio. All right. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to grab a drink, maybe a little snack. BRB Crimson Knights.
I'm going with Sea Quench Ale, which is a session sour. Kind of a sour ale that I like a lot. For those who are able to partake of adult beverages, which is not most of you. It's good though. Dogfish head. All right. So where where are we going? We need to head south, right? Mm, southeast. All right, quest completed daily, a better tomorrow. Item reward, melon, mutt fruit, stim pack, right away, pur purified water, 200 XP. This. Petrified corpse? Oh! Okay, so I'm getting radiation from that. Oopsies. Okay. More radiation. Alright, so I'm gonna leave the petrified corpses alone. Those don't seem to be giving me much. The Wixen Homestead. 27 experience for discovering it. Whoa, what? The Scorched has a gun? Getting shot by this guy. Always gotta look in the toilets and the tubs just to make sure. You never know what might be stored in there. Message to Sammy. Responders don't know shit. Every night, there's more of them in the sky. Brotherhood warned them, warned us all. Defiance has fallen, they said. What the hell does that mean? Supplies running low. May try to get to Abby way out over the mountain. Free states have gotta know more. Sammy, you read this. Get to Abby. Straight east of the Red Rocket Mega Stop. She knows the Brotherhood of Steel better than anyone. The angels look after you because sure as shit, nothing else will. Take a cigar box. Oh, here's a kitty cat. Cheswick the second. Oh, kitty cat. I'm sorry, Cheswick. Sorry, everybody here's dead. Poor Cheswick. Bag of fertilizer. I feel like that could be useful. Bomb making or something. Also seems like it's probably heavy if I had to guess. Acetone canister. Orange canister. Tinker's workbench. Okay, go. Oh. It's weird to me that Scorched are shooting me. It just doesn't seem like these guys should be shooting me. You know what I mean? Doesn't that seem weird to you? Whatever.
Empty blood sack. So much wonderful loot. You guys know that I am a hoarder. So, nothing surprising there. Okay. I think we gotta backtrack, right? Gotta go more east. in the right direction here. This looks like the tail of a plane. It's out in a field somewhere. Wreckage from the war. Oh god, I was like, I heard something. A freaking mole rat scared me, dude. Got me right when I was going for a drink, too. Had my hand off the controller. I just absolutely lit up this dough. Discovered the wayward. All right. Ammunition vending machine, medical supplies vending machine. Good to know. Team only interior, private area that is unique to your character. Only you and your teammates can be in this interior. Friends and strangers can't join you. Most important, make important story choices that have larger consequences. Progress, progress is saved less frequently when in a solo interior. Be sure your quest has been checkpointed before leaving. Look at that place. In the event of your untimely demise, okay, I couldn't even read it. Wayward souls deal with the attacker? Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now! Sweetheart, honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you- Hey! What are you? Me? I'm the person distracting you so the little guy hiding back there can blow your brains out. Hey, guy. A little help? Why don't you put the gun down, friend? You're outnumbered. Let's talk. I'm no gun expert, but is there supposed to be something stuck in the barrel like that? I'm the last thing you're ever gonna see. Why don't you put the gun down, friend? You're outnumbered. Let's talk. Let's go with perception. Guy. More. I told you it was gonna end badly. Now I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Oh, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. <sighs> what was that all about? He said something about a treasure? Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. 
You looking for help dealing with these thugs? Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See? That boy we put down? He's not the first of his crew to roll in here. But I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house. But my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? Um... What do you know about them? Only that they want something from Crane. But I think we could use that to our advantage. That is, if you're doing this job for me. How much you paying? 50 caps if you can get the job done. Make it 100 and we've got a deal? 75 is as high as I'll go. And for that kind of money, I expect to never hear from those boys again. Now, does that mean you're on the case? I'd like to hear this plan first. Only seems fair. The details, then. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? You want me to pretend to be Crane, don't you? Well, aren't you a smart cookie? And I think I know just how to do it. Just give me one second. <laughs> okay, I, for a second I was like, she's over there doing nothing. I think I'll just... I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. She just happened so to have a blueprint over together there? together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? How did you know I was from a vault? You vault boys and girls carry yourselves different, like you matter. Plus, your pit boy was a dead giveaway, but that's beside the point. You think you can work from these schematics? Yeah, yeah, I can build the sign, sheesh. That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. Morty Mort. What are you on about, Mordecai? Hey, Mordecai. I'm not bragging or anything, but I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Of course, you're gonna need materials. But we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Yeah, some I, I'd appreciate too, that. So you don't starve on me. Give me a care package. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Let's do Hot this. Dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. Oh, and on the topic of leaders, you know, one of my people found this tape in the camp across the way, recorded by one overseer of Vault 76. Hmm. It's a little out of date at this point. But it seems it might have been left for someone from her vault. Maybe it was waiting for you? Sounds like she set the camp up so her people could get some practice in self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a little refresher. All right. 
quest completed, wayward souls. All right, so what happens if we do trade? Duchess's dram. Potato. Bunch of fusion cells. Healing salve. All right, Hunter for Hire. Read the plan crane treasure hunting sign schematics from your inventory. Optional, speak to Mord about building at your camp. Optional, build a weapons workbench at your camp to scrap, camp to scrap items. All right, well, quest started, first contact. Let's talk to Mord. Glad to hear vault actually took care of some of their people. You hear these rumors, right, about him just throwing folks to the wolves. Here's some rations and a fancy suit. Good luck. Well, don't you worry that smooth little face of yours. You are in good company now. Because around here, we this look at This coming from a guy with uh, melted skin now, and no can nose. Can, can I ask what happened to you? Allergies. Learned the hard way. I can't stand within 10 feet of a strawberry. <laughs> Come on, man. That's a joke. Yeah, Truth I, is, I figured. I was outside on doomsday. <laughs> I drove security. And I was uh, coming back to pick up in the truck. When I feel this rumble, rah, 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 and it quiet, then a whole lot less quiet, and the truck was hit with this wind, and it was like someone dropped a hurricane on it. I can hear it battering the truck, bang, 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 like it's got a grudge against it. And then I unlock the door and into the back, and then, bang, I wake up, man, and it's crazy. Somehow, in the back of the truck, alive and kicking. And all it cost me was my skin and any opportunity for someone liking me for anything other than my lovely personality, and that. It was the day I became, well, they call us ghouls. Not the most flattering name, but still beats being vaporized. That's fair. That's fair, Mort. You can teach me about using my camp? Listen, friend, you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament. Perfect, but perfect. If I'm going to help you, I want something in return. What? And what is that? All right, listen, I got this plan. And you're going to help me get rich. Wow. See, the folks who made it big off the gold rush, they weren't the prospectors. They were the folks that sold them their shovels. It's kind of true. I don't do shovels. What I collect is knowledge. I can go all sorts of places you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes, and you're going to test it for me. I made these hollow tapes. Now this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you Volters got. All I'm asking is you give him a listen and let me know what you think. Um, sure, I'll listen to them. Well, oh, thank you. I mean, <clears throat> thanks. Just come back once you've taken him out for a test drive. Now, is there anything else you wanted to check right, about? All right, Mort's Edu tape number one, place in your camp, building at your camp added. Number three, powering your camp added. Okay. What's it like being a ghoul? I mean, it's got its advantages. Main one is that radiation rolls off me like water off a duck's ass. You can strive <laughs> through a blast zone like it's a spring breeze. That's a also, nice ability, honestly. I can survive in situations that would turn a normal person into a TV dinner. The major downside? Well, shit, you're looking at it, right? Head to toe disfiguration. There's also, well, you might have seen them. Not all ghouls are sane. Not sure how it happens, why some ghouls lose their minds and others don't. But ever since I turned, there's always this nagging feeling just at the back of my mind that I will have to feast on humans. <laughs> Seriously? Nothing? Shit, I thought it was funny. Overall, though, being a ghoul makes bag. Can't say I'd recommend it as a lifestyle choice. So what's your job here? Don't have one. I'm an independent operator. When these folks need a hand or got an errand that involves running into radiation, they come to me. Rads, yeah, they don't bother me anymore. In exchange, Duchess lets me drink. It doesn't bother me too much about my tab. Really, about the best sort of setup a guy in my situation could ever ask for. Well, at least until the tapes take off. All right. 
Nice. Some other time then. A little literal bearskin rug, gold pocket watch, huh? Oh, we're overburdened right now. I gotta offload some stuff. All right, let's get out of here. Back to Appalachia. Let's just go up here. What is this? Buddy's, is this somebody's camp? Craft a weapon, craft a piece of armor. Here's the overseer's cache. Dwellers. The Wayward opening soon, blah, blah, blah. All right. My stash box. All right, so let's transfer all my junk. It's carrying way too much stuff already. All right, so let's put spoiled meat in there. I'm not really gonna use a sledgehammer. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I have tactical automatic combat rifle. I'm going to put away the laser pistol, short pipe revolver rifle. Raw wolf meat. Raider left arm. Rad stag meat. I'll keep the pipe revolver out here. Latrice, how's it going? Plan, small backpack. I mean, I guess I'll just take all this, huh? Alright, we can tune into WGRF Grafton.
Um. Okay, so how do I listen to these? Whoops. Alright, here's hollows. Placing your camp. The year is October 2105. This is Mort McCoy. Master Mort's edu tapes. Today we're talking about your camp. Now, former vault resident or someone who killed a vault resident, let's start off with the basics. Placing your camp. When plunking down your camp, C-A-M-P, that's an acronym, for the first time, remember to crap. Where did no, that oh, here we go. Remember to take the lay of the land. Consider the grade of the terrain, general defensibility, and proximity to your surroundings. Could that cliff edge be used to protect your flank? You bet your chops it could. Once you've found the perfect spot, it's time to move on to the best part of working with your camp. Activate your new camp or hold options to start building. Construction can be an intricate process, so a steady hand and an eye for detainment. <clears throat> Details. Damn, I had to get Eye for details are this guy's most. hilarious. You should take a moment to familiarize yourself. Use with the, the D-pad to select an object to build, change categories with L1 or R1. Interface. But don't worry. We'll cover construction in gory detail in the next of Headmaster Mort's edu tapes. So long. Get your chops. Come on, Mort. What, 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 what's that? Latrice said, it's going good, just excited for the weekend and stuff, but just chilling, ready to enjoy the stream. How about you? I'm doing well, Latrice. I'm enjoying playing Fallout 76 right now for the first time ever. Scratching that Fallout itch after watching the show on Amazon Prime. And uh, similarly, like you were saying, excited for the weekend. Though, I kind of have to work a good bit tomorrow, but it'll be a good day, so I'm... I'm Looking forward to the weekend, but what do you have on your plate, Latrice? What are you looking forward to this weekend? Hello, dedicated listeners. Welcome back to Headmaster Mort's Edu Tapes. Today, in this second tape, we are talking construction. Now, the first step of construction is. Wait, what? Is that soda? Soda's red, right? Wait, oh. <clears throat> Elected. First, electing what you're going to build. Once you've made that election, it's just three easy questions to construction success. One, is the location I've selected going to work for an object of the size and shape? A workshop object will glow green if it can be placed. Two, red at the location no, valid. Gray if you lack materials or schematic instructed. And three, do I have all the required materials to? Who the hell bled on my notes? Saw! If I find that was you, you're gonna bleed on. Whatever. Who bled on my notes? Short on materials? Loot the local junkyard, mills, and warehouses for parts. Missing a critical schematic? Your local vendors might have just what you're looking for. And on that note, this has been Headmaster Mort's Edu Tapes. Edu Tapes. See you again soon. Solomon, so help me, this better be dead. Where are you hiding? Latrice said, I don't know, just hanging out with the fam, whatnot. Sunday, going to church as always. Get to see my friends at church. So excited for that. All right, this will be our last back, Mort's Edu tape. Three of three. Mort's final tape in the camp series. Powering your camp. After listening to the second tape, you should already be well trained enough to build a generator. If you haven't yet done so, I'll wait. All power producing objects can be found in the generators do, workshop do, 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 category. Uh, I do, 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 ah, screw it. 
All right, I, I'll assume you nailed it. Now, generators are the heart of your camp power system. Once your generator is built, all you need to do is connect it to the object that needs power with the wire. I had oh, fun with base building um, in Fallout 4. That was that was pretty fun. Made a lot of bases Some in Fallout 4, are, actually. Like bulbs, and then you could kind of connect supply right lines between them all to share resources. All you need to do is run a wire from your generator to a power pylon. Place the power pylon near your lights, then voila! Let there be lights! Well, this has been Headmaster Mort's camp construction hollow tapes. Please check back with Headmaster Mord himself at The Wayward to learn more about his other exciting courses, including Mort, can I salute this? And Mutations, am I a monster now? And thanks again for listening. Ha! Nailed it! Let's listen to this camp thing from the Overseer. South of Vault 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but... Mutated animals? Haywire bots? No people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild in... What I can confirm is... Hostile territory. Fortunately, Vault Tech was prepared. You see this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. Alright, so that's what I wanted to know. <laughs> can you move the camp? You can use it. Like, how annoying is it going to be to move the camp around? By not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. This is the Overseer, signing off. All right, let's lead, listen to Overseer's Log, Vault 76. Is this, maybe this is the one we already listened to, Overseer's though. Overseer's Log, or should I say, direct communication. Because whoever is listening to this, had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Yeah, where do you listen to this? I need your help. I've been given a... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's look at where we're at. The overseer's camp here. Craft a... piece of armor. Craft a weapon. I don't know. I guess we can try. Here at the armor workbench. Light armor. I mean, I don't really want to... I, I already have all that. So I don't really need to do that. Is this a... Wor weapons workbench. So let's see what we can craft here. Blunt melee weapons, edged melee weapons, pipe guns, throwing weapons. I don't know, I guess we can make a throwing knife. Make five. A fighting chance trophy earned. Weapon condition degrades as they're used. Alright, the question is, is there like some sort of... Is 
Is there some sort of... It says Atomic Trial of Free Stuff. Vault 33 jumpsuit is free. Alright, camp. You can buy a bunch of stuff. Shelter's poster is free. Neon dice sign. Free. Pride flag bundle. Free. My personal terminal. Free. Okay. Wait, so did I miss something? Oh. Del Lawson. Your own initiate for your camp. Interesting. Okay, so that's free. Landscape painting. Weather station. Okay. Photo mode. Pride frame. All right. Um, let's see. Emotes. Join my public team emote. No mic. Give gift. Lunchbox. Nice camp. So sorry. Alright, icons. Gunslinger icon. Commando icon. Slugger icon. Gladiator icon. Um, shotgunner player icon. Pride flag icon. Pride flag icon bundle. Utility. Free scrap kit. Alright, so we got a bunch of free stuff. Jonathan said, all right, I completed a couple of assignments. My phone about to die. I'll try and run in your next stream. See ya until then. All right, Jonathan, thanks so much for hanging out, man. Have a great night. And uh, if we don't see you before your graduation, have a great graduation, my friend. Thanks for popping in. It's great to see you again, my friend. Glad to hear you're doing well. Maddie said, Angel Stream and Roblox Jailbreak tomorrow at noon. Just saw that on his community page. It's supposed to be the final event. It's happening in that game after seven years of the game running. Roblox a jailbreak. What is that? Okay, what was I actually trying to look at though? I was trying to look at controls. Is there a way to pull up? I don't know. Is there like a weapon wheel in this game or something? Like how do you... How do you, uh... How do you, like, cycle your weapons? That's what I don't understand. I don't know. Alright. What do we got here? Find the strange machinery. What is this? Event Scorched Horde. This. Search. For traces of the Overseer in Flatwoods. I 
I guess it'd be interesting to know, like... I don't know, like, where should I make a camp? That's, that's a question I have. Looks like new players are all coming in behind me. They're all level 20 because they started at level 20. Just like me. They're just copying me, that's all. Who loves the sound of morning doves? I love the sound of morning doves. Challenger. I accidentally killed that guy, I think. Oopsies. Mr. Prizebot. <laughs> I killed him. I didn't mean to. He just came out of nowhere and, and got in front of my gunfire. That's so. What I'm trying to say is that's his fault, dude. That is not my fault. Alright. It's totally his fault. I'm not taking the blame for that. Everybody's welcoming Sabi back. Makeshift battery, pack of cigarettes, tin can, whatever. It's an opossum. I'ma take it's opossum meat. Uh-oh, there's a mole rack coming towards me. Of aluminum cans in there. Hot dogs? And Nuke Cola hiding back here. Day Tripper. Alright. 22 hours that I can save up 400 points and get a sub night. Maddie's on the grind. Bobby pins are basically lock picks. Okay, so I should be picking these up all the time, huh? Pick a lock. Challenge completed.
Blue paint. Gym session notes, play it. Oh. This guy's dead. Looks like me. I could take a 160 pound barbell. The heck? There's a rad roach on the, on the wall. Wasn't attacking me though, so that was weird. All right, let's uh, let's listen to this thing I just got. Gym session notes. Ah, arm day. Three sets of twelve reps. Let's see. Dumbbell bicep curls, tricep extensions, hmm. and back extensions. Yeah, little peeve about the lack of proper equipment. No bother. Chin up. Only eight more luxury coffins to make quota in backwoods. I mean, flatwoods. <laughs> uh, be difficult, given the uh, financial situation around here. Just need to remind them of our friends, the Chinese. Uh, I'll be back on the plane to Ipswich within a fortnight. Uh, gather it'll be the Did he say fortnight? This is where I already went. Kickball. Life preservers, empty milk bottles. I don't know why I picked that up, but I did. Scavenger down there. Discovered Flatwoods. The Bobby Pin Box, Weapons Workbench. Eight ball. Another sign for the Wayward over here. Donations box. Savage Divide treasure map. Oh, wait. Oh. Overseer's Log, Flatwoods. Overseer's Log, town of Flatwoods. My God. There's no one here. The old tavern, the church. People were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected. But there's something else. A disease. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person. But it had these green, glowing lesions, and its voice... Angry. Tortured. We are one. One what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. Before they were wiped out, 
The survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about drinking water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but someone's got to know where the missile silos are and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the Overseer, signing off. Patient chart, Buzz. Patient name, Buzz Yates. Complaint, patient admitted at 9 p.m. Complaining of uh, upset stomach. Drank several containers of dirty water. Claims he likes the earthy taste. Symptoms, patient experienced extreme bowel discomfort, weakness, confusion, barely alive. Treatment, patient died before receiving treatment. Notes, patient was too weak to, to survive a simple fall from his bed. Drinking so much dirty water reduces physical strength considerably due to intense radiation damage and disease. While I didn't die of those issues, simply taking a slight injury caused his demise. Memo, responders. Responders, the database is now locked. Only volunteers and responders may access it until things calm down again. This is only a pre precaution until this whole thing blows over and we get back to rebuilding this great country. I just updated it with more information about supplies, so when we get back, we can start distributing resources to the survivors that remain. Delbert and Keisha have volunteered to stay behind and take care of the survivors. Dasa. Dasa. I don't know. Responders database. Wait, who just walked in here? Hi there. Heather Ellis. Are you here for the responder training? Yes. As a matter of fact, I am. Then you're not alone. A lot of people come here because of that radio message the responders left. That's what brought me here, too. At first, I was planning to just do the training and move on, but honestly, I kind of like it here. I really enjoy meeting all the people that pass through. Look at that dog just staring at me. Wait a minute. It's like dog pool watching the stream. Vault 76? You've got a good eye. What gave it away? To be honest... You really don't have the look and feel of someone who spent their life out here in the wilds. The other people I've met from Vault 76 seemed a little more... How to put it? Uh, Wide-eyed. Inexperienced. Uh, still figuring things out, you know? They also tend to look healthier, more well-fed, and their skin's not so rough and callous. Wow, shots fired. Catching strays. Could you help me out? I could really use some supplies. Of course. I know how hard it can be out there. I just made up some stim packs. Here, you can have these. Give yourself an injection when you're hurt, and they'll heal you right up. So, uh, what's with the responder outfit? I found it in one of the houses. It fits great, and it's really comfortable and pretty durable, too. I'd also be lying if I said it didn't have some sentimental value for me. I've admired the responders ever since I first heard about them. What they stood for, helping people no matter what. That was really important. Tell me about me? yourself. There's not much to tell, really. I came in with Paige and the rest and stayed up at Foundation for a while. It was nice, but eventually I wanted to go my own way, you know? Get out and see some places I've never seen, figure out who I am. When I heard the message on the radio about Flatwoods, I was curious to meet the responder, so I made my way here. I decided to stay here and see what else I could learn. That's pretty much my story. <sighs> so I said, Crimson, where's Chili Dogs? I am not drinking Chili Dogs based on made up moon rocks. All right. If you want to force me to drink Chili Dogs, you got to earn it. You got to earn it. And the way that you can get moon rocks is by watching the channel, donating on the channel. That's mostly it. Joining the channel can get you some moon rocks. Tell me about Foundation. It's up in the Savage Divide, which is what they call the mountains to the east. There the are maybe Savage a Divide. Dozen settlers up there, though people always come and go, so it changes. Honestly, life is pretty good there. It's a community, and everybody does their part to help. 
Tell me about Paige. He's the closest Foundation has to a leader, I guess. I never got to know him real well, but he always seemed like a decent guy. Honest, reliable, cares about the people, that kind of stuff. Sabi said, can I donate from my basement? I don't, I don't know, Sabi. What, what do you, I don't think I want to know, but what are you talking about? Okay, what is it? Anything interesting you can tell me about this area? Yeah, there's a couple of places around here that qualify as interesting. At least to me. The Agricultural Research like, oh? Center is infested is with feral hmm? ghouls and homicidal robots. But you can find some good scrap in there if you're up to it. The New River Gorge Resort to the east is the same story. Maybe, minus the robots. Thanks for your time. No problem. You shouldn't sneak up on people, though. It's not a good idea. Or was I doing login? Guest. Welcome, guest. Flatwoods responder services are currently offline. Please use the volunteer bot if you need assistance. Access the database. Access denied. Print the newsletter. Requests. When responders return to Flatwoods soon, we will pro process your request. Stay nearby and use the provided emergency supplies and robots. New patient medals. Transcript from the volunteer bots records. Everything hurts. Literally everything. I don't even know what happened. I tuned into the radio station and heard about this place, but nobody here knows where y'all went off to. New patient, Chris. I was running and broke all my toes and my nose won't stop running on top of everything. I was getting attacked by some horribly messed up person. Then I started feeling sick. I think he died. His skin was on fire. I kept running. That's when I broke my toes. I'm just going to lie down a bit. I just feel bad. New comment from Metals. Yeah, that guy who signed in yesterday with the sniffles and broken toes just died, I guess. He turned to me and said, maybe I ate something bad and that was it. I'll bury him in the back. This ain't my job, you know. You're welcome. New patient, Cullen. I figured I could get some training here from professionals. Survival type training. I'm going to work on the volunteer responder program. I heard if you get access, you get a bunch of rations and rugged survival equipment. So I'm going to do that. New patient, Mike. I used to be a member of a bunker to the east. We had plenty of food and water, so I thought. People got nervous. There was a fight. Anyway, I left, but I, I don't have any supplies. Heard about this place on the radio, so here I am. Just here to trade, really. Comment from Cullen. The guy who just signed in took some supplies and left some other supplies in trade. Took most of the water and food, though. He said he was, gonna, he was going to some asylum somewhere and would need it more. But he left us with some armor, so that was good. New patient, Dr. Venn. I've been eating nothing but Blamco mac and cheese, sugar bombs, and Instant Mash with Nuka Colas for years, even before the bombs, but lately it seems to give me the shakes. I'm a doctor, though. A doctor of philosophy, not medicine. So I came here to see if anyone could tell me if there's something I could take for the stomach aches and shakes. New patient, Dr. Venn. Oh, that's what I just read. Comment from Dr. Venn. Sending in some feedback on the robot. It's out of all of its supplies. I've been grabbing supplies from the nearby houses in town, so there's enough for most of us, but the robots need to be refilled. New patient, Brad. Constant headaches. I was trying to survive up near that old vault, vault tech vault. Had a nice shack by a pond, even made my own liquor. Things were fine, but then I got attacked by a bunch of giant bugs. Now my head's killing me. Just where is everyone anyway? Comment from Dr. Venn. It seems like the responders should have communicated with this outpost by now. Colin's now a volunteer responder and he found some resources using the database. He found info in the database that showed us where the responders are now. We're going to go find them now. Alright, that's... That's it. Okay, and then I just printed something, right? Water safety report. Water safety report, 62396. Volunteer candidate, Colonel. Germ profile, high. Recognized bacterial groups. Mutated bacterial groups, new un unidentified bacteria. Radiation levels, extreme. Particular granules, pebble plus. Acidity, unsafe. Pharmaceuticals, high. Conclusion, water is unsafe for drinking unless boiled thoroughly. Whoops. I think I just accidentally used a stim. Okay, so if you press left on the D-pad. Okay, and then up on the D-pad brings up this wheel. Okay, so I could favorite some other stuff. Good to know. Good to know. Gully Mine Recon. Jeff, 
I hope things at Flatwoods are going well. I had a thought I wanted to share. If we can spare the personnel, I'd like to send a team into Gal Gavly Mine. They were blasting in the days before the war, and if there's still dynamite in there, it might come in handy. I know you're busy with the volunteer program, so it's your call, Maria. With smart and a little luck, you'll do just fine out there. Can I trade with the volunteer bot? What's he got? Got a lot of stuff. Amusement park worker outfit. Barbed walking cane mod. While you're over here, why not grab a stim bag or two? Plan for 44 revolver. Oh man, but these are expensive. All these plans are really expensive. If you need supplies, Bob got you covered. It's got a lot of stuff though. That overseer lady said more people would be coming. It's nice to meet you. All right, so this says diagnostic terminal use access denied. This terminal is restricted to responders, volunteers, volunteer trainees. If you'd like to join the volunteer program, speak with Dasa Benami or register at a self-serve kiosk. Wind chimes going, obviously. Volunteers needed. Ten mil pistol. I'll take that. Fragment fragmentation grenade. Canned dog food. Sugar. Recipe. Sweet mutt fruit tea. Okay. Jeremiah said, I've caught some Pokemon to fight you, Sabi. They're strong, they're tough for you to beat. Ha ha ha. Free cooking lessons. Delicious and free cooking lessons. Just outside Flatwoods Tavern in the parking lot. Reverend Delbert Winters leads cooking lessons every day. Free to all survivors. Come get fed and learn how to cook the old-fashioned way. Menu. Reverend Winters' famous Appalachi Appalachili. It's a good name. Corn Pone Yum. Cram burgers, it's definitely meat. Well, probably at least some of it. Kindly refer to your local friendly responder for details and class schedules. Couple caps on the table. Where? Anybody working here? Flatwoods Tavern purchase order history. Moldy food. There's a guy in this fridge. Responders plea. Buff tats, pre-war money. Someone please help me! Please let me out! Please! Please! I'm begging you! Don't leave me here! Please! Please! I'll give you anything you want! Money? He got locked in a fridge. The graveyard behind the church? Pre-war money. This teddy bear is rich. Survivor story, Tabitha. Alright, let's do the self-serve kiosk here. 
Welcome, Survivor. This program was developed to turn regular survivors into certified responder and volunteers. As a volunteer, your job is to help others, and our job as responders is to help everybody, including you. Volunteers, register here. First contact trophy earned. Welcome, volunteer. Transferring course to your external hardware. Done. Report to responder Keisha McDermott for further instructions. Locate Keisha McDermott. Optional search for her location in the system. People directory. Hot meals at Camp Kitchen. Dasa Benami. Lead of Flatwoods Responders Outpost. Specialty leadership. Last checked in 110596. Flatwoods Church, 8 Church Road. Leads Flatwoods Outpost with responders. Document responders are good deeds. Miguel Caldera. Responder, engineer. Morgantown Airport. Simon 17 Bridge Street. Install new self serve kiosk and automated pantry. Transfer to Morgantown Airport to build shelters for survivors. Colonel. Spawner caretaker for ch caregiver for children, 52196, 13 Bridge Street. Throwing their spawners when he was 13, dedicated to helping kids learn to survive. Keisha McDermott, spawner researcher, hydrology education, 102596, Flatwoods River, Three Church Road. Monitoring water safety protocols in Flatwoods, conducting ongoing hydrology experiments. Colin McLeader, engineer trying to contact the responders. Trying to contact the responders. Anybody really? Can anyone see this? Scott Shepard, volunteer, nurse, knowledge of the big picture. Green Country Motel, studying the reasons why. Has theories on many topics, mostly political or paranormal. Gary Wilkins, responder volunteer, survivor coordinator, career, navigation, 17 Bridge Street, transferred to Morgantown Airport. Delbert Winters, responder, morale officer, chef, cooking, preaching, morale. Delbert's home, runs the Flatwoods Kitchen, the potlucks, trains survivors in food safety. Finally, Sophie Yates, volunteer candidate, unassigned, undeclared, Delbert's home, student in Delbert's volunteer training class since 1 2096. All right, we completed that little thing. This girl is following me. At home. I did. All right, let's. Who goes there? We gotta search for Welcome Keisha along the nearby Alice. river. It's time once again to put aside all you think you know, all you believe to be true. Time to open your mind to the strange, bizarre, and sometimes terrifying world that exists in the shadows and fringes of our own, where myth, legend, and rumor are made real. Yes, it's time for more thrilling tales from the West Virginia Hills. Tonight's episode, Who Goes There? A strange encounter in Flatwoods is brought to you by Sugar Bombs, the breakfast cereal with explosive great taste and 100% of These the recommended daily allowance diners never give you food. Of sugar. Get your morning started right with Sugar Bombs. Our tale begins on a fateful night when a young pioneer scout, Fred Fisher, finds himself in quite the predicament, having taken a spill and fallen a dark place. Ugh. Where am I? Jack? Biff? Mr. Bailey? Can anybody hear me? I, I can hear you. Who's there? I, I can't see you. Me? My name's Sally. What's yours? Of course, Fred. my name's Sally. Are you okay, Fred? I think so. My head's a little woozy. Must have hit it when I fell. Oh, no. Did you get lost, too? Well, sort of. What I mean is that I was camping with my scout troop by the lake near Flatwoods. There were these lights kind of dancing in the sky. Neat. I guess. Anyway, we heard some weird noises, and the guy's double dog dared me to go look. So I did. All by yourself? You're really brave. Shucks. Thanks. I followed the noises to an entrance of an old mine. It smelled awful there, like rotten eggs, but worse. Old deep freeze tank Suddenly, holds 50 pounds of steak at maximum temperature, maybe hot or cold when deposited. Automated pantry only accept ribeye steak right now. Additional food donations will be update 020. Steak must be cooked to medium rare only. Carbon levels tweaked to reject all of the consist consistencies. Well done steaks may be deposited in the leather scrap box for armor usage. Run diagnostics. Bugs. They said they'd bring some soon. 
Temperature control is broken. Can't detect ribeye steaks properly. Can't detect potato soup properly. Still says milk on the machine. A very good question indeed. Tune in next time to find out the answer in the chilling conclusion of Who Goes There? The Strange Encounter in Flatwoods. Guest check 25. Meatloaf, extra crispy, side of mixed veggies, glass of wine if we got any. Guest check 24. Venison stew, no veggie, mutt fruit juice, whiskey, meat. Right, the beer has worn off. No! Explore Appalachia for an hour. This is Brahmin. Wait, we can milk this thing? <laughs> Got some milk. Event, fertile soil. Events are public quests that everyone in the area participates in. Kill farmland, farmhand supervisors. Evacuate civilians and take down those supervisors. Once they're dealt with, you'll have to reboot the server again. Uh-oh. Responder, Keisha McDermott, water testing kit. Survivor, story, Keisha McDermott. Dasa has asked us all to document our stories for posterity, you know. Seems like a fine idea. So, hi, I am Kesha McDermott. When the bombs fell... I was in Watoka, coordinating a statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. It was just a bad time all around. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we hold up in a house in town for a while. After a bit, I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned into a oh, cat shoot. from the response. The supervisor oh, shoot me. We were overjoyed. <laughs> Wait, are all these things shooting me? The kids and I ran into a group of assholes in the mountains who stole our food and water. I can't tell you how happy I was. Tents for everyone. Open kitchens, medical protection. We were safe. All these farm hands attacking me, dude. I stepped up. I'll build a testing monitor the contamination, and I will teach folks how to properly boil water. <laughs> and I did. The world is getting better, but slowly. We need to make sure it doesn't relapse, too. It's going to take time and care, that's all. Time, care, and science. The heck was that? Supervisor Danford. The problem is, I am encumbered.
killed the supervisor. Ah, leveled up to level 21. Good job. Responder team, proceed to the to reset the front hand targeting parameters. That should keep our people safe in the area. Be careful. Change farmhand's targeting parameters. Okay. But now I gotta go in here. My name is Sally. Bag of cement. All right, yeah, let's take that. I just uh blew up, man. God, how many of these robots are flying around in here? Warning. Do not interfere with Vault Tech duties. Alright, I am overburdened. I'm encumbered, as they say. Overseer's journal entry one. Overseer's, let's call these personal journals. Not an official log, just something for me. Burnt Trade the Magazine. Agricultural Center. One of my first posts with Vault Tech. I was so excited because I used to come to this same farm when I was a kid. <sighs> I remember one year. At the autumn festival, me running through the corn maze, going every which way, mom and dad yelling after me to slow down. <laughs> Wasn't gonna happen. I guess I was always hitting my fast. Couldn't just be a pioneer scout, I had to make troop leader. Couldn't just be a good student, I had to have straight A's. God, I miss those early days. Being a kid. Three of us, our simple life. 
A simple house. No wonder it still stands. It's a pretty large building, it seems. McFadden's terminal. Note to Marge, read. Marge, I miss you and the boys more than life. Don't think I'm a coward. I'm using what God gave me to help the only way I can. This agricultural center is a chance to feed all the people. I'll get it done. I'm close. I can feel it. McFadden. Now, let's see. All right, Jeremiah, have a good night, my friend. Con. Likeness zero. Wood. Likeness is one. Rome. Likeness zero. Entry denied. Dang it. Thanks again for hanging out, Jeremiah. Have a great night, my friend. Be back probably with some, uh, you know, rebirth, Warzone rebirth. On Sunday. East. That's a good one. Likeness is one. Um, how about... Hates. Likeness one. Warb. Likeness is zero. Okay. Alright, so east was a likeness of one, huh? doing this why am i failing over here short laser pistol cap it a tin can dead guy I'll see this, it's true. veterinary records terminal and free warm money error no connection all right Let's try again. Why am I doing so bad at this? I think I, I just don't really understand. News. Likeness. One. Gets likeness one again. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, how about 
that? Oh my gosh, I I can't do this, dude. I don't understand it. All right, change farmhands parameter. How do I do that? I'll go back inside in a minute, but let's see if we can change the parameters here. So it does seem to think that I got to go in here to change the parameters. All right, so maybe it's down below. Dude, this says note to Mac. Mac, we need you. The Scorch were seen over by Tilly's farm. They're staying with us now, but it's only us and the children. All the men are at Morgantown. We haven't heard from them in weeks. You've been away so long working on those dang bots. Come home. Love, Marjorie. Agricultural center mainframe. Change farmhands targeting parameters. Remove human class from target list. Boom. Homo sapiens removed from active target list. Done. My farmhands program locked. Vault tech facility orientation. Data corrupted. Event. Fertile soil event completed. All right, we did it. All right, Night Jeremiah for reals this time. Have a good weekend, my friend. Sneak attacked him. Explosives crate. Okay. Baseball grenade. Records terminal. Error, no connection. All right, fair enough. Unrefined gunpowder, radar chest piece.
open with a terminal. Astoundingly awesome tales 13. Usually those kinds of magazines like increase your stats or something. But maybe not in this game, I don't know. Alright, so it seems like we've pretty much explored this. Now let's go upstairs. Rigby, how's it going? Rigby said, did you know you kind of look like the movie star Jake Johnson? He played the voice of Peter Parker in Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. You think? I I don't think I look like Spider-Man actor. But I guess it's a compliment, so I'll take it. Let's go pays. Likeness. One. Ugh. How about game? We're in! Select entry to view. 4393. Still is all busted. Tried restarting the generator, but fusion core spent. Every able bodied soul's busy fighting, not growing crops. The people need this. 71993. Responders came through with a fusion core, plugged it in, the whole place lit up. What a sight. But all the Mr. Farm hands are hunks of metal. 1194. Heard we lost a battle near Grafton. Got to get the farming up before it's too late. People are starving out there. Get one farmhand online. All the BT terminals were fried. Having to figure it out on my own. 61294. Success. The whole fleet of Mr. Farmhands are up and idling. They won't move. Just got their vocal circuits back online. Keep complaining about fertilizer. Just plant the seeds. Any yield at all is better than nothing. 111194. Got into the central memory thing for the farmhands. Running out of options. I'm not a robot tech, so I'm doing the best I can. I haven't heard from anybody. Not even March. But if anyone's out there, they'll need food. Just got access to the core settings. I'll fiddle with the fertilizer settings. Maybe if I set it to zero, they'll start planting. Yeah, the only problem is I think I killed all of them. Killed all those farmhands, so... Not really going to be able to do much for me, are they? Rigby said, does Fallout 76 have a big story to it like Fallout 4 did? Um, I don't really know because this is the first time I've ever played Fallout 76, but from what I saw online, it seemed to be saying that like the main story of Fallout 76 is maybe like 25 hours or so, but then obviously it's like, you know, there's a bunch of side quests and everything. So you can obviously spend like a ton of time in this game. But I mean, there is a main storyline. You can pick them off before they even know you're there. It's true, settler. Thanks for the help. Those were some hungry wolves. You could see it in their eyes. If you hadn't showed up, we'd be in real trouble. That settler's I need dead. This. Fix that. Oh, never seems to end. It's hard work making but yeah, I mean, there. I think similar like Fallout 4, I'm pretty sure the main story of Fallout 4 actually wasn't that long, technically. It's just, it would take you, it just takes a really long time to like get through exploring in the game. You know? But so ends up being a really long game, even though the main story is not actually that long. It's hard work making a living out here. Can you still get companions? It looks like you can get people that'll stay in your camp, and then this is an MMO game, so Sunny you play with happy. real people like so what's online. Your story, dweller? Wolves make so much noise, slobbering and growling. It's impossible to tell how many are in the pack. 
know a guy who could fix that. Fusion cell. So I hear a lot of gunfire out here. Yeah, I, I doubt you get companions the same way that you did in Fallout 4. You know, I'm sure this is different. Also, it looks like all these, uh, you know, farmhands are kind of respawning now. What I really need to do is I need to create a camp. Mr. Wolf Gaming and Jose are over across the river. And Jen Ultimate is a public team leader. All right. Oh, look, there's a, a giant bridge going across. Test a sample of water from Flatwoods water pumps. Rigby said, Fallout 3, you have to find your father, then Fallout 4, your son. Fallout 5 would probably be your mother. You're probably right. I don't know if they're working on another Fallout game right now. They've been doing updates in DLC for Fallout 76. And then, uh... They're working on a next-gen upgrade for Fallout 4 that's coming out later this month. Or, or actually, like, next week, I think? So, he says, Fallout 5 will be about a father on a journey on finding milk. <laughs> Yeah, what I'm really excited for out of Bethesda, I want I want Skyrim or not Skyrim, but Elder Scrolls Six. I want the next Elder Scrolls game out of them. Savi so said Fallout Five is in development. Sources have confirmed it. Wow. I hadn't heard that, but that's awesome if that's true. This just keeps going up. Then over here is like another POI. Trying to like kind of get to the top of a hill here. Well, this is a mountain at this point. With the TV adaptation, the Fallout player count has risen up. Yeah, actually, the Fallout 76 player count, concurrent player count on Steam, I think, is the highest it's ever been. It's actually never been this high. So... TV show is doing wonders for the Fallout franchise right now. New River Gorge Bre River Gorge Bridge West. Wait, where's 
this guy go? You can hear people like fighting out there. You can hear a bunch of fighting out there. Now, my question is, could I make a base over here? No, right? Alright, what I want to do is I want to make a base... ...somewhere. Whoa, look at that. Can I, can I put this here? Happy camper. Okay, so then how do I build? What do I have blueprints for? Stash boxes, okay. Make any of these? Yeah, I can make a stash box. Crafting. Make one of those. What is this? Armor workbench. What is this? Weapons workbench. Build an allies thing. Oops. Light ally, Del Lawson. Or I could have built Forager's Chair. Only one ally could be placed or stored at a time. Interesting. How do I get out of this? Exit. Wait, why is Mr. Farmhand attacking? Okay, that's weird. Rigby said, Do you remember when this game originally came out and fans got really angry about it? It yeah, it had a bad release. It had a bad release. But they've worked on improving. 
improving the game, you know, making, uh, different patches to the game as well as like free DLCs and whatnot. So, I mean, that, that makes a big difference. And apparently the game's in a lot better shape now than it was when it first released. So, and, and I got it for free. So it's like, whatever, you know, I'll, I'll try it out for free. Why not? Trying to free up a little bit of, you know, weight or whatever. Welcome back, by the way. Latrice. Oh, these are pistols. Okay. Putting all my alcohol away. All right. This is a nice place. Never was much of a builder myself. So Del Lawson, I think this is supposed to be the guy from uh, the Fallout show, oh. huh? I'm in need of your expertise. Absolutely. What do you need? So let's see, can I build like a... Bed? Could build just a bed roll.
it's fun making, you know. Attention, citizens. There's a nuke the inbound? Strike imminent. Please Wait, what? The Check the map to see where it lands? Thank you for your cooperation. Nothing like the shine of freshly polished armor. Where's a nuke gonna land? Over here? Blast zone for a nuke. Level 320 Timma is over here in the blast zone. All right, so I'm nowhere near this nuke. But that's pretty crazy. All right, let's try building a little bit more. Like, can I build some defenses? Watch your step. I might have spilled some grease around here. Sorry about that. Turrets and traps. I can build a turret. Produces five um, defense. Oh. So does it need energy? Like no, huh? How's it going? Maybe if I just put one more over, like, here or something? And, like, one here? I could have... Everything All right. right. could have a three-way defense system going on I here. All this stuff all the way out here. I haven't seen any other brotherhood out there. All right. Cool, cool. All right, so we built a camp. That's cool. can rest in our little bedroll here. Mattresses lying on the ground can carry disease. Defeat the Scorch Beast Queen that is terrorizing the Cranberry. It's level 50 recommended. Feel a kindred spirit. All right, so we're all healed up. Quest completed death from above. We're looking off east. Maybe a little southeast. See anything? But I think that is where this is happening. Event Scorched Earth Blast Zone. Yeah, I can't get anywhere near that. That's pretty far from where I am. This whole game, we've only gone from here to here tonight. That's been our total traversal. Something or was that still there?
All right, Crimson Knights. It is late. I stayed up later than I should have. But we were having fun in Fallout 76. Thanks for hanging out tonight, Crimson Knights. Whether you are on Twitch or on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for scratching the itch with me. Checking out some Fallout after watching the Fallout show on Amazon Prime. This was a lot of fun. Um... Yeah, I enjoyed it. I mean, I, I could definitely see spending more time in this game. TBH. I could see spending more time in this game. I'm probably going to look up, like, you know, what, what's the main story? How long does it take? That kind of stuff. Um... But it's fun. I, you know, it's it's a Fallout game. It's got a nice flow to it. I'm liking it so far. I had a lot of fun tonight. But Crimson Knights, I'll be back on Sunday night as usual with some Warzone Battle Royale Rebirth Island with the boys with the Night Squad. Have a great weekend. Until then, it's great seeing you all. Thank you for liking the video. Be subscribed, join, or follow it on the channel, whether you're on Twitch or YouTube. I appreciate it, everybody. Have a good night and a good weekend, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye, everybody.